Good evening, judges. We have chosen gender equality as our SDG. These statistics prove that the world is male dominated, but we want we wonder where does this exclusivity stem from that causes all other genders to be marginalized. The fact is that it stems from our social language, which is biased in its nature. We request the judges to Google the term computer programmer, which is genderless. Yet Google's language based algorithm itself is biased and returns mainly images of males in society associate STEM subjects to males. This language association is taught to students at school itself, and that is the root problem. We conducted a survey among a wide range of students. Our data is restricted to students of private English medium schools since we did not have access to government schools. The program will also be implemented there. Uh, from the survey it's clear from a survey it's clear that the gender bias is prevalent in schools the majority of the respondents reported that they have seen gender bias in school textbooks whether it's the extensive usage of male pronouns or the roles given to males and females as examples We've designed a project called Genderwise for schools to make their overall environment gender inclusive. Step one, taking a survey of the place where the school is set up and understanding their curriculum adopted by the school. Step two, suggesting a module. Step three, talking to teachers and parents and children about gender biases and asking for their consent to re record their lessons. Our algorithm works with different types of curriculums as each board would have different vocabulary and understanding. Also, it will have different levels for each grade and year. As a nursery child would not use such advanced language that a 12th grader would use. Our module has two parts. First is working with the publication of the textbooks. Our AI module uses natural language processing and image processing algorithms to evaluate the text and the graphics of the textbook for its gender inclusivity. Finally, it gives the author relevant suggestions which after being reviewed by them can be directly implemented through the autocorrect option. It also enables the author to check whether the content aligns with the level of their target age group. Second is working with the school management and the teachers who are the very people influencing the students. Every week, any random 15 lectures are recorded and our application uses audio and video recognition to evaluate the class environment. First, it evaluates the language used in class, and second, it evaluates the teacher-student interaction. After the class, it gives relevant suggestions to the teachers to improve their lecture. We create gender me not, and we train the machine using gender-biased words and non-gender-biased words. It takes an input text and returns a message whether or not it's biased. This can be extended to a voice-based app. When I type the text, you are a chairman, we get a message saying whether or the phrase is biased, helping us identify it and replace it with a better word. Geared towards incentivizing schools, Genderwise is advancing its algorithms, striving to enable young girls to envision themselves in influential positions in society by implementing inclusive language in schools. Genderwise can radically alter a school's gender involvement in textbooks and bridge the gender disparity in our language by reconstructing its stereotypes. Ultimately, Team 9's pre-established solutions ensure the encompassment of all genders. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Brilliant. Uh, Very nice. I like the idea you. of survey. I mean, there is no substitute for primary research to validate yeah. anything. Like that. That, that was a brilliant. Although the sample size was only 30, uh, but that shows you know that you are doing a primary research. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Great. It's a great idea. Uh, and I really like the name, Gender Wise, uh, on a perfect day, uh, International Women's Day. Uh, you know, it's, it's amazing. Um, I think, um, as uh, Vinayak said, uh, you know, you've got a small data set. I think it's about how do you increase. It's a great idea to do the survey. I think that is where you get the real data. And it's about how do you expand the survey and then start revising the product. Uh, the product is, uh, it's really novel, but um, you know, I think the more you get a data, probably you yes. will start getting a little bit more to shape it. I think right now 
I see it's a broader. Otherwise, it's great. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. It's really good Thank being, you. A, being a founder of International Women in Tech. I really love this idea. So probably I might use some time, you know, your uh, survey app to do a survey in my group as well with a lot of people to know, you know, what is gender biased in the community. So I really love the idea about the girls. Thank you. Thank you very much.